Hey everyone, Max here with another quick Excel tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll go through how to do a VLOOKUP with an IF error. This is a useful function if you are doing VLOOKUPs and getting a lot of NAs, meaning that there is data in your VLOOKUP that's not matching the original database of data that you're looking at. Those NAs are ugly and they're annoying to work with. And so this is a really quick and easy way to fix that. So first of all, if you haven't seen my basic VLOOKUP video, go check that out. Otherwise, I'll just quickly run a VLOOKUP and show you how to fix the problem. So we start by doing a basic VLOOKUP. Uh, in this case, I have a bank of names and I'm trying to find the email that corresponds to these names. So the lookup value will be the name. The table array will be all of our names and emails here. And we're gonna do Command T to lock that in on a Mac. And then the column index number, the name is in column one. We're trying to pull the emails from column two of our table. So we type the number two there. And then we always want to use exact match because we don't, we don't want Excel to guess what we're looking for. We want to find us the exact name and the exact email. So go ahead and click exact match, close the parentheses, click enter. Now you can already see we got an NA and I'll double click this down to apply it to the rest of the names. You can see we have a few NAs. What does that mean? Is that I'm looking for Addison or Amanda or Elizabeth, but those names aren't appearing on this list. Maybe the person that entered them in, instead of writing Elizabeth, wrote Liz, for instance. So uh, obviously I'm not gonna be able to find an email that corresponds with these, but what I can do is fix these NAs. So how do I do that? Go ahead and click on the first cell and between the equal sign and the V of the VLOOKUP, click there and type if error. And you can either click tab or click on the if error. and It'll open it up. Now the first phrase of the if error is just the function that you're running. The first thing is just the value. It can be a sum, it can be multiplication, it can be a VLOOKUP, whatever. But after this parentheses, when you type a comma, the second value is if there's an error, like this hashtag NA that you see here, what would you like to show instead? So here you open quotations, which lets you type whatever text you want in Excel. And you could type something like, no match. You can type anything you want. You can even just do blank if you want and then no value will show up. But I like to type something in because then it's easier to sort. Close the parentheses, uh, close the quotation marks and the parentheses and then click enter. And now you see instead of this NA, I have no match that shows up, which A is a lot more visually pleasing if you're showing this to your boss or something. And B, it makes it easier to sort. Now if I go and I want to get rid of all the ones that don't have matches, I can sort Z to A um, or however I want and I can easily identify everything that's missing a match and I can go into the database and fix this or pursue those emails or whatever I need to do. I'll include this formula in the description below. Feel free to ask questions. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see on Excel for Mac.